What up, it's Melvin7 here and today it is a new promo on FIFA, it's a brand new one pre-season, we've never seen what the hell it is, sorry for the lack of uploads recently but to be honest there's been nothing on FIFA anyway so it seems as though EA are gearing up for whatever this promo is. We will check Twitter, uh, Twitter as well but yeah let's see what's in season objectives if they have uh, updated, doesn't look as though they have. Uh, I don't know if that's by design, um, but yeah, we'll we'll check um, we'll check that later. We'll also check the loading screen and everything like that. But if we go into SBCs, okay, okay. So obviously we've got marquee matchups. Wow, they're starting off with Valverde, and that's it. Hmm. There's no other SBC. That can't be right. Really? Well, yeah, I'm going to back out before I check that, uh, and then obviously we'll check Twitter and see what's coming. I don't know if they've done free packs or whatnot, but yeah, this loading screen will probably tell us something. Um, but yeah, if that's all it is for day one, uh, I, I, I don't know about that. Like, um, Let's see, right, so we've got best of pack content, so okay, they're back in packs, good. Pre-season loan gift. What? What? That's a stupid five um, loan things. Okay, here we go. Okay, right. So they have actually done something. Not not too much like. Uh, but yeah, we've got this pre-season thing, uh, which is there for nine days. I hope this isn't the only uh, thing they've got in objectives. But anyhow, play three matches. Is any foot game mode with at least three Team of the Year players. Okay, score two goals with Team of the Year and assist with the Team of the Year. So we obviously get a, a loan team of the year pack. Um, okay, really not sure what the hell the benefit of that is. Like, uh, they could just do a team of the year SBC. That would be much better. But anyhow, it's only one squad for this 93 rated Valverde. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay, they're practically giving that away. That's crazy. I know he's only three star, three star, but is this an upgradable one? Uh, road to the final site, so, yeah. I'm, I, again, I'll check Twitter, I'm sure they'll confirm, but I'm presuming, because he's a road to the final card, they upgrade with every round that Real Madrid progress. Medium, medium. Um, hmm. It's a great card, of course it is, um, but, I mean, <laughs> Summer Heat released so many better cards than this, and I know he can upgrade, and that's the whole point. That's why some of the stats are, you know, agility balance aren't maxed out. They're 86 and 82. Uh, the physicals are quite low, to be honest. Um, you know, there isn't anything over 90 there. Uh, composure's good. Acceleration's okay. Yeah, th this is a card that needs upgrading in the current uh, current meta of FIFA. Like, uh, for example, if we look at uh, a player that is already out, that is playing for the same club, uh, obviously he's a little bit more expensive, um, but I'll have already done him. Uh, Luka Modric, can I view that? No, okay, I might as well just... I've got him in the clubs. So I might as well just uh, compare him with uh, Valverde. But yeah, Modric, uh, for, for what he cost when he came out, he was really cheap as well. Not that cheap, of course. Uh, I've got to give them props for making that pretty much peanut. Like, what, you're probably looking at, what, 50k for that? Something like that? Right, here we go. So we got Modric. He, he's, he's pretty much the same card, except he's got better passing, better dribbling. He's got maxed out agility and balance. His stamina's maxed out. So, you know, even though Valverde will likely to get upgraded, well, saying that they're losing currently to Man City in the first leg, but you never know uh, with the way things are going. They've got a chance. Is the second leg in the burnabout? I can't remember. It was that long ago. But yeah, they're one goal down against City. So if they do progress, he will get an upgrade. Then he'll upgrade again if they get further and so on and so forth. So for an 83 rated squad, uh, because the club he plays for, yeah, I, I think it's a good card. Just, uh, yeah, they've literally tailor-made that to upgrade. And that's probably why it's only an 83 rated squad. Because if they do go out, it's not that good of a card. It's just going to be good if they get upgraded. But anyhow, I, I know these are shitty packs. But yeah, I'm, I'm just opening these. Uh, we didn't get anything in there. So yeah, we'll check, uh, we'll check Twitter. Have a quick look, see what EA have said. But yeah, I've I got to be honest, that's an underwhelming start if that's literally all they've done. Um, so I'm hoping that Twitter, you know, reveals a, a bit more. So if I go on to this, there we go. Okay, right. So we go to EA Sports. Preseason is here. Here we go. Right. So let's read this quick article. 
So play foot 20, get distinct rewards in both 20 and foot 21. Okay, that's really good. Players will have the opportunity to unlock rewards in foot 21, including packs, consumables, player loan items, and in-game vanity items. Over the first two and a half weeks of preseason, you'll have the opportunity to earn rewards that will help you get started towards managing your foot 21 club. Completing select objectives and squad building challenges in FIFA 20 will unlock the following. Uh, so two times coin boosts, a home kit, a future stars kit, anchor chemistry style and an engine chemistry style. Wait, is that it? What What about all these packs? I mean, to be honest, I don't want too much for FIFA 21 because the whole point of it is to grind and you lose that aspect if they give you like high level cards. I'm really happy they're not giving you players. They're giving you loans and in-game vanity items. Packs though, I'm fine with packs, that's fine. Um... Stay tuned for more that will be available. Rewards during preseason will be granted by the 16th of October. Uh, okay, right, yeah, fair. Best of pack content for the first time ever. Team of the Year items will be back in packs following the initial Team of the Year release. Celebrate more of the best. Wait, is that all that's in? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, okay, they are putting the Team of the Season. Okay, okay, they're putting the good ones in again. Right, that. Wait, is that. What? Were well, they not team of the year? Some tools. Oh. Have they made this edit? What is this? That can't be all that's in packs at the minute. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it says that team of the years are in packs, so I imagine, you know, all the best team of the seasons will be in there as well. The Champions League and Europa League return. From Lisbon through Cologne, August will... Yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. We'll stake a claim. Okay, right. Tournament boost in recognition of the never-seen-before format. Um, oh! Still competing. will receive a three upgrade. Oh, okay, the existing road to the finals. Okay, these items will also... Okay. New road to the final players. Um... Upgrade with each round, yeah, well, okay, fair enough. Champions League showdowns, this, I loved when they did this for Summer Heat, the showdowns uh, on the Monday, so I was hoping they'd do this, so I'm happy with this one. Um, so yeah, they'll they'll pick a match and then they'll pick a player from each one and whichever one wins gets a three upgrade, or if it's a draw, they both get one. Halftime SBCs, I like that. During the halftime break of selected champions in Europa League matches, limited time puzzle SBCs will be made available. I like that. Top transfers... We'll be showcasing a selection of the most exciting moves of the summer with special player items and FIFA 20 release for those players after they land at their new clubs. If we do wrap up Sancho in the next couple of weeks, that would be a phenomenal card to have on FIFA. Uh, weekend League rewards. Oh, God. Well, who the fuck is... Does anyone even play this? Does anyone even play this anymore? So it's the team of the seasons. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to be too negative. You know, it's a nice idea. Of course it is. And it's the first day, of course. Uh, I do like a lot of the stuff that's coming. I'm not going to lie. Um, I am glad that they're not giving us players other than loans for FIFA 21. Because, yeah, I do like the grinding system. At the start of the, the game, everyone not having the high-end end game cards is good. Because, you know, it, it makes it fun when you actually do get that team. Um... So yeah, I, I like that, uh, assuming that, you know, there's a couple of better items like packs. Packs are what you want at the start of FIFA 21. Like, you know, everyone loves pack openings and everything. Everything's got a high value. So a few packs to end would be great. Best of pack content, um, I'm confused. I can't imagine that's the only things they've got in at the minute because I'm mentioning Team of the Year, but that isn't on the database. So I don't know if that's just because there's too many people looking at it. Champions League and Europa League uh, stuff is pretty good. I like it, um, particularly the showdowns and the halftime SBCs. The top transfers, we'll see how that goes. Weekend League, I'm not even going to play, um, so I'm not really bothered about that. But uh, I'm just going to make sure best of players part will be replaced by... Yeah, okay, so it's anyone from the top five. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, right, fairs. Um... Any play items, a minimum of one. Okay, right, yeah, that's fine. Anyhow, so I'm going to end this video. Let me know what you thought of this, uh, the start of this promo. It's, it's got a way more underwhelming feel than Summer Heat had so far. But again, I suppose this is their last promo, um, you know, all the way until August, uh, sorry, October the 
second, which is the early access, I think. But anyhow, I've waffled on. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.